Okay, so in the previous screencast, I showed you how to refactor the update quality method to get it to this point, where we now have a switch statement, where the cases are all based on the type of the item. And this is a good opportunity to show you a refactoring called replace conditional with polymorphism. So basically that means we want to create some subclasses on item and move the code to do with a particular type of item into the relevant subclass. That will make it easier to add a new class of items. You just need a new subclass of item. You don't need to come in and change the existing code every time you need a new sort. And given we have a requirement for a new class of item, it's kind of reasonable to think that this might be a frequent occurrence. So I think this refactoring is worthwhile doing. Now, if you've read the description of the Gilded Rose Carter properly, which is on the it's in the repository and on the GitHub. You can read this and it does warn you that the item class is owned by a certain individual who has views on whether you should refactor it. So I think you just need to imagine that I've had that conversation with that individual and we've established that it's okay. I'm just gonna need to change this class minimally with a factory method and some subclasses and this particular piece of code is not going to be changed terribly much and that's okay. So having established that this is a desirable design change and we have the test coverage in place to support the refactoring, let's get on with it. First thing I'm going to do is to create relevant subclasses. So let's have a, a Brie subclass. Now this is on the quick fix menu, create subclass. Uh, we want AG Brie and I don't want that. It is always going to be called AG Brie, so I don't need that construct argument. There. So that's a nice subclass. Tests all still pass. We're not actually using this uh, class yet. But let's just go ahead and create the other ones we're going to need. We also need a backstage pass. for us and I think we could just leave the default case in the super super class and um, the, uh, the goblin might not be too happy about that, but actually I think it's quite a good design decision. So I'm going to leave the default case actually in the item class itself. So now we have all these subclasses. They're not being used remotely. You can see they've got 0% coverage um, when we run the tests. They're never being constructed. So there's another quick fix here. It's not a quick fix, it's a refactoring. Replace constructor with factory method. Create item. There we are. So that helps a little bit. And Gil I think IntelliJ has been intelligent enough to start using the, the new factory method here in the test case. So that's good. So now here we want to make sure that depending on the name we can construct the right subclass. So here we need that switch statement actually that we've got in this method. So it's going to do something entirely different, but it's the, uh, the switch statement that I'm just going to copy in here to save me a bit of typing. And most of this is not relevant. But 
I much prefer deleting code than typing it. I'm much less likely to make a typo when deleting code, I feel. So that should be a, a valid refactoring here. Yep. So now I can move this line into the default case and duplicate it. And except here we want a new sulfurus. We don't need to hand it the name. And we want a similar line here, except this one is going to be a backstage pass. And a similar line here, except this one's going to be major pre. And IntelliJ is now pointing out that this statement is unreachable. So we can remove the break statements. And then I'm just going to remove some of these new lines to make it look a bit prettier. Okay, so how's that for a refactoring? So that was a successful refactoring. Now we're actually constructing these classes. And if I run it with coverage, you can see I'm actually getting some uh, some coverage on my new classes. So that's that's useful. Now we're still using this one great big switch statement here. And that's what we want to then push down parts of that logic into each subclass. So first I'm going to make this protected so that the uh, subclasses have a chance of overriding it, which I can do. It's, maybe it's a refactoring rather than a quick fix. What I'm looking for is override. Hmm. Ah, of course, I can't do override here because I'm in the Gilded Rose class. I need to move this method onto the item class, um, which is uh, automated refactoring here in IntelliJ. So that's better. So now we've moved it into the item class. And we can, now we can override it, override method in all three of them. So now it's generated this uh, call to the superclass in all of the three subclasses. So that's good. So let's start with Brie. What we want to do here then is clearly to inline this and just this indication, keep the method. So now we've copied the code into here effectively. So some of it should be dead and the coverage should tell us which parts are dead and we can delete. And it's pretty obvious really, it's this case that is the only bit of live code. So uh, all this stuff that's marked in red is dead code and we can remove it. Yep, test still passing and actually we should be able to simplify this um, switch statement to an if statement and then this statement should always be true. So let's replace that. It does tell us of the coverage. Yes, this is always true. Yes, we already know our name is Edge Bree. Yes. And now we can simplify that. So now we have all the update quality logic to do with Edge Bree in the Edge Bree subclass. Do the same for Sulfurus. So here we want to inline this invocation, discover the dead code. This is the only line that's actually doing anything and it's actually empty. So actually we can remove all of this because that is exactly what Sulfurus does when you update its quality. It does absolutely nothing. Classic. Tests are still passing. So let's go for the uh, backstage pass. Now we've duplicated all the code into this method. Some of it should be dead. Now we can see which bits are dead. We can remove those bits. That bit's green. We can remove this case. And then it should be possible to replace this switch statement with an if statement. And then we know this is always true because we set it in the constructor. And then we can simplify it. 
So now we ran the tests, they're still green, the coverage is good, but here we've, we've dropped the coverage in the item class because now we've overridden this method in some of the subclasses, some of this code is dead. So we can remove all of these cases and replace this with an if statement and then it's actually left us with an extra block that we don't need. So now I believe we should be back at pretty good coverage numbers, tests all passing, 100% coverage and that I think completes the replace conditional with polymorphism refactoring.